1954, the comic book industry formed the Comics Code Authority, a self-regulatory body created in an effort to avoid government regulation in response to the repeated publishing of content that had been deemed to fall short of in good taste. What printed tears could be disturbing enough to warrant the creation of a United States Senate subcommittee, you might ask? Today, we revisit 10 of comics' most notorious pre-code horror covers. Welcome, boils and ghouls. Pre-code horror is one of the most popular genres in the comic book collecting hobby. These visually stunning books can be incredibly difficult to find in the open market, and when they are found, they can easily sell for a premium, often for multiples of guide. Filled with ghastly tales and often featuring stomach-churning cover art, the comics of this era were a favorite target of everyone from the Girl Scouts to the Senate Subcommittee on Juvenile Delinquency. In today's video, we're counting down 10 of the most shocking, most disturbing, and most grotesque comic book covers of the era. If we're just meeting, my name is Drew Stewart, and I'm the owner of Como Comic Books, a Columbia, Missouri-based comic book vendor, and here on our YouTube channel, we provide you with the best tips and tricks to help you take your comic book collection to the next level. If improving your collection is something you're interested in, then go ahead and click subscribe so you never miss a new video. Now let's get into the list. In the number 10 spot is Crime Suspense Stories number 22. This EC Comics classic was the book used in the Senate subcommittee hearing to challenge EC Comics publisher William Gaines on what the definition of good taste is. Featuring a notorious cover from Johnny Craig, my personal favorite EC artist. Crime Suspense Story number 22's cover features an axe-wielding madman holding the severed head of his female victim. One of the most sought after EC comic books, this issue rarely sells for less than $1,000. It has a very high entry level price. And recently, in December of 2019, a CGC 8.5 games file copy sold for $15,199. Coming in at number 9 is Punch Comics number 12. Arguably, this is more of a crime book, but Punch Comics 12 features a chilling cover where a gun battle plays out in and around a giant skull. You've got people hanging out of eye sockets, dead bodies in the jaw. It's crazy. Published in January of 1945, this Gus Rika cover is notoriously difficult to track down with no recorded sales of CGC certified copies since November 2018. With three CGC sales recorded in 2018, prices ranged from $1,477 to $55,000 for the CGC 8.0 Crowley pedigree copy. This book does not come up often, and when it does, it goes for crazy prices. In the number eight spot is the first horror comic, Eerie Comics number one. Published in January 1947, this issue features a Bob Fujitani bondage cover where a knife-wielding ghoulish figure creeps up on his bound victim in the full moonlight. A fairly difficult issue to track down, only two CGC sales are reporting on GPA analysis for the preceding 12 months. A CGC 9.0 copy recently sold in the Heritage Auction September Signature Auction, and that went for $11,000, while a CGC 5.5 sold in July of 2020 for $5,520. A book that is on every serious pre-code horror collector's list. This issue regularly commands a premium in the market, and available copies rarely sit on the market long. Though, if you just want a copy to read, Canton Street Press did produce a replica edition in 2016 that can be picked up for a considerably more affordable price. If you're enjoying the video so far, be sure to hit the like button below. Now we're moving on with the list. Haunting the number seven spot is a legendary L.B. Cole cover for Startling Terror Tales number 11. 
published in July 1952 by Star Publications, this cover will give you nightmares, featuring a giant razor-clawed spider with a human skull for a head. Cole surely cost a lot of readers a fair amount of sleep in the summer of 1952. A sought-after issue in the pre-code horror branch of the hobby, sales have been strong for this issue over the past 12 months, with nine CGC sales reporting. The most recent sale, a CGC 1.8, sold for $950 in September of 2020, while the highest graded copy to sell in the past 12 months was a CGC 6.0, and that sold in December of 2019, for $4,525. If you suffer from arachnophobia, you're gonna wanna skip that one. If you're an Iron Man fan, you'll no doubt recognize the name Don Heck, who co-created Iron Man with Stan Lee in 1963. 10 years before the world was introduced to Iron Man, Don Heck was busy working up one of the most simple, yet deeply disturbing comic covers of the pre-code horror era. Our number six book is Horrific Number Three. The cover to Horrific Number Three does not feature any of the creepy elements seen in the previous entries in the list. A simple green background forces the reader's eyes to the only thing on the cover other than the title. The face of a man whose eyes are as disturbing as the bullet hole found in his forehead. The dazed look on his face, the shock in his eyes, and the bleeding wound create a really unsettling sensation as you look at this cover. With eight CGC sales reporting in the past 10 months, interest in this book remains strong, but the limited sales of high-grade copies may be holding values down. No copy graded higher than a 4.5 has sold in more than five years. The most recent sale which was for a CGC 2.5 sold in October 2020 for $1,281, while a CGC 4.5 sale in December 2019 at $2,485 is the highest grade CGC copy to sell since December 2014 when a CGC 5.0 sold for only $939. I wanna give a quick shout out to a couple of viewers who took the time to leave a comment on our most recent video. Many thanks to X-Men 1, Bishop Davis, and GT Key Comic, who both left comments on our Comics to Invest in Fall 2020 video. If you haven't checked that video out yet, be sure to queue it up next. Few things will make you squirm in your chair, like our number five entry. Mr. Mystery number 12. This Bernard Bailey cover is the best example of one of the pre-code horror era's favorite disturbing images, stabbing or injuring an eye. Published in July of 1953 by Stanley Morse, this is a standout cover for one of pre-code horror's more desirable titles. With only five sales reporting in the last 12 months, this is a book that doesn't hit the open market very often. A CGC 5.0 copy sold in April 2020 for $5,760, while the most recent sale was for a CGC 2.5 copy sold in October 2020 for $2,160. If you haven't rang the notification bell yet for the Como Comic Books YouTube channel, our number four entry, which is Tales number 25, may be just the reminder that you need. Published by Harvey in June 1954, this Howard Nostrand cover confirms that things are not normal in the bell tower. As the bell ringer rings his bell, we see that instead of a regular clapper, this bell has a severed head suspended inside of it. With an unusually high number of six sales in the last 12 months, this issue has seen strong price increases over previous sales. The most recent high-grade sale of a CGC 8.5 sold for $5,760 in September 2020, while the most recent sale, a CGC 4.0, sold for $2,040 in October 2020. Harvey continues its dominance of the top five with the number three book on our list, Black Cat Mystery number 50. 
published again in June of 1954. This book came out at the height of the atomic scare and its subject matter let the reader know that there was more to fear than just the bomb. Featuring an unfortunate individual melting away after exposure to the radioactive element radium, few covers rival the shocking and grotesque imagery of Black Cat Mystery number 50. One of the most sought after pre-code horror issues, sales for Black Cat Mystery remain strong with seven recorded CGC sales reporting in the past 12 months. The highest graded copy to sell in that time frame was a CGC 9.2, which sold in July 2020 for $28,800. While the most recent sale was for a CGC 5.0, sold in October 2020, for $8,200. Dragging in at the number two spot is the legendary Chamber of Chills 19. This issue features a Lee Elias cover that has transcended the comic hobby and found its way into multiple facets of pop culture. The original cover art for this issue recently sold at a Heritage Auctions signature auction for an incredible $178,000. This issue, published in September of 1953, puts a haunting twist on an anniversary celebration and is the final Harvey pre-code horror issue on our list. Another scarcity in the open market, only six sales of CGC graded copies have been recorded in the last 12 months. A CGC 0.5 sold in February 2020 for $1,963 while a CGC 4.5 copy sold in August 2020 for $6,700. Whether you're a pre-code whore collector or a fan of the band The Misfits, this issue is on the short list of many buyers. Our top ghoul, the number one pre-code whore cover, goes to Weird Mysteries number five. Published by Stanley Morse in June 1953, Weird Mysteries 5 is a real headache. The Bernard Bailey cover features the gloved hands of some unsavory character removing the brain from a mangled and electrode equipped head that's floating in some sort of mystery fluid. It doesn't get more macabre than that. If you were trying to convince your mom that the comics under your bed were suitable for young readers back in 1953, this issue was not gonna help you win that argument in any way. With only four recorded CGC sales in the past 12 months, this issue remains tough to get for pre-code horror collectors. The highest graded copy to transfer in the last 12 months was a CGC 6.5, which sold in December 2019 for $11,979. Nothing says Merry Christmas like a comic book where somebody is pulling a brain out of a head. Most recently, a CGC 3.0 sold for $4,080 in July of 2020. Looking back, it's hard to imagine the 1950s, which are often depicted as being wholesome and innocent, produced such chilling comic book covers. From severed heads, terrifying monsters, and fiendish ghouls, the popularity of these horror and crime stories were the cause of their own undoing. Following the adoption of the Comics Code Authority, the comic industry's hottest genres were deemed unsuitable for consumption. This change forced many of the publishers who had risen to the top of the comic book industry with their crime and horror titles to have to completely retool and try to connect with their audiences with considerably watered down content. Pre-code horror is by far my favorite non-superhero genre and is a great option for any collector that's looking to diversify their collection. The most well-known or notorious covers can come with a bit of sticker shock, as you surely took notice of as I was covering some of these sales. There are plenty of other modestly priced but equally haunting books out there that would look great in your collection. Happy hunting and collect responsibly.